Hi there, this is uh, Shrikanth Sari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to learn how to uh, write a small program uh, using a, a loop construct uh, statements in C++. Okay. So primarily, uh, we will focus on for loop uh, for this lesson. Okay. So before uh, starting the ID, uh, so this is my YouTube channel. Uh, if you type it in uh, Google, if you open Google for a second. If you go to google.com and if you just type uh, dasari t-u-t-s okay tuts okay so it leads you to my channel here okay so here you find uh, so all the varieties of uh, uh, programming uh, tutorials uh, like C, C++, data structures oops uh, html php javascript and so on and so forth here okay so if you click on the playlists uh, button here so this is our uh, C++ series uh, which is being uh, regularly updated here okay so I have done so far uh, 15 lessons on C++ okay so you can uh, uh, topic wise you can select uh, any uh, tutorial and you can uh, uh, keep on uh, uh, comment uh, on that and uh, put your views in the form of a comment uh, here if you if you just uh, if, you, if I just start any tutorial um, so if you scroll down a bit uh, you have here uh, comments option here okay so whatever uh, you feel about the video uh, you can uh, put your thoughts uh, in the form of a comment which is very appreciable highly appreciable okay so also feel free to uh, subscribe to this channel Okay. So if you click on the subscribe button, uh, you will be subscribed to this channel here. Okay. So that's it about uh, my channel here. So if you launch the ID, uh, which is, we know that we are using uh, uh, Visual Studio 2013 for uh, uh, Windows Desktop uh, Express Edition, which is free ID from Microsoft. Okay. Uh, so already I have uh, created a project under the name uh, for loop here. So it consists nothing but for.cpp. Okay. So let me go to full screen and add all the basic stuff like header files. So hash include. So I was stream. Uh, so using namespace uh, std and followed by our uh, very important main function uh, cn dot get and return zero here. Okay. So I just add all the basic stuff here. Okay. So to demonstrate the use of for loop, uh, let's take uh, a for loop directly. Uh, first, let's take a small variable uh, just to use it in the loop here. Okay. The syntax, the for loop, uh, basically uh, it is used for loop or while loop or do while loop or any other loop control uh, statement uh, in any programming language, not only in C++. Uh, they are used to uh, do some things repeatedly. Okay. So for example, if you want to print. Uh, uh, some message uh, 10 times uh, so you can't if you're crazy enough uh, you can write uh, you can uh, do like this uh, so hello uh, I am hello I am from India okay so if you want to print uh, some sort of message like this if you're crazy enough uh, you can do it uh, copy this statement and uh, you print it uh, 10 times like this okay so this is the crazy thing you can do ever in your life so this is not a this is also not a good programming practice okay so to do that to do any task repeatedly uh, you need to use a, a looping uh, looping construct here okay so the syntax of for loop goes like this for followed by initialization so initialization you need to initialize the variable which you have taken to use in the for loop and followed by some sort of a condition uh, which is like if you want to loop uh, 10 times you need to t you need to have some uh, conditions conditions const conditional statement there okay so i less than 10 and you need to uh, con uh, in order to r do the things repeatedly you need to increment the value of i such that it uh, always will be true when compared with the uh, condition which is lies in the middle of your for loop syntax here okay so i plus plus okay so this is the basic syntax of a, a for loop here so so whatever the things you want it to be uh, repeatedly done you can keep it uh, those statements uh, enclosed in this uh, parenthesis here okay so this is the for block here okay so if you have a single statement uh, you need not have uh, this kind of uh, uh, parenthesis here okay so if you have only one uh, one statement to execute under your for loop then so directly you can happily uh, write it uh, under the under the for loop directly so let me write the message here so hello i am from india okay so this is our uh, 
a small tiny program uh, which we are which we have built using the formula okay so if you run the program until now what happens if you see is so you get the message 10 times here okay so hello i am from india it's getting printed uh, 10 times here okay so that happened because uh, so first we have taken uh, i is equal to 0 initialized uh, for loop and then we have uh, taken some condition here which is i less than 10 okay so for the very first time the value of i is 0 it is being compared with this condition here okay so 0 is less than 10 so ultimately uh, the condition is true it gets incremented so since the condition is true it uh, enters into the loop here okay so if the condition is not false okay so if you say if you take something like this if you're crazy enough and if you take something like this if i is equal to 11 then your loop will never get executed here okay so what happens is blank okay so to move to be more specific let's write uh, a small message here for c out slash and slash t I am out of loop or look simply you can uh, so out of out of loop here okay so simply you can have a message uh, directly uh, if you run the program until now out of loop here okay so you get a message out of loop directly okay so the, the reason because so let's enclose our for loop even though you have a single statement it's always a good practice uh, to enclose your for loop in a uh, a single uh, uh, braces here okay so if you take if you're crazy enough and if you have took something like this if i is equal to 11 and if you have uh, what happens here is if you compare this uh, that 11 so now i the value of i is 11 so 11 is compared in this equation 11 is not less than 10 so ultimately uh, the condition is failed okay so that, which means that uh, never your loop is going to be executed here okay so in order to uh, in order to make run your loop successfully uh, you need to have a condition in such a way that it's always true okay so when the condition get false uh, gets false automatically uh, so automatically the loop comes out here okay so let's add uh, one more thing here so let me say something like this i okay so c out i okay so I have just uh, what I've done is uh, I have just uh, added this uh, variable i okay so I'll let me put i plus 1 here okay since okay so if you do some a small minor change here uh, so if you run the program with the help of f5 okay just a second I have messed up the output here i plus 1 oh god slash and slash t just a second uh, let me put it in the very beginning okay so we have messed with uh, the syntax here okay so one slash is enough so now let's see what happens here okay so if you observe here uh, so one uh, so every time we have taken uh, this approach because uh, to every time the value of i is zero until i is uh, it compares with uh, initially the i is 0 uh, so i is less than 10, 0 is less than 10 it comes out comes into the loop and just prints this message here okay so for understanding purpose or let's uh, keep it only i only here okay so to be more specific since uh, we count we start the counting from 0 in our loops here okay so run the program so if you observe here uh, every time uh, the condition is true uh, it comes uh, so it comes out of the it uh, enters into the loop and executes the following statement here okay so the, for the first instance the, the value of i is 0 so it it uh, successfully uh, condition is true and it entered into the loop construct and executed the message and it has just uh, we have just printed the value of i also here okay so until when the i is 9 until i is the, if you observe in the output here the value of i is 9 uh, it also satisfied since i is 9 is less than 10 it gets satisfied and enters into the loop and then it executes the statement and then what happens is after incrementing the value of i gets 10 so again it compares 10 with uh, 10 with 10 okay 10 is never less than 10 okay so the condition automatically fails and comes out of the loop okay so if you want out of the loop uh, and if you have a, a small uh, thing here so if you just print out uh, the value of i so after coming out of the loop 
so you get the clear picture here okay so now if you run your program so already i think uh, we are in executing mode let's come out of the program now let's run it see what happens here okay so on the value of i is 10 okay so if as soon as you come out of the loop here let me go to full screen let's come out of the execution mode, okay so we'll go to full screen and run the program okay so as soon as you come out of the uh, loop here uh, now if you observe the value of i is 10 here okay so the it gets incremented as soon as the loop is executed for the 10th consecutive time and it gets incremented and then at the 10th after the 10th iteration again it compares with it with uh, the 10th uh, 10 variable which is now the 11th iteration so it fails automatically okay so here we intended to run the loop until 10 times so the condition fails automatically because the value is not uh, 10 here okay so value is 10 and it's compared uh, with this which is, which is never less than 10 10 is never less than 10 and it gets automatically uh, fail and comes out of the loop here okay so this is the uh, most uh, common way so how to uh, get acquainted with the syntax of our loop here okay so not only uh, increment operator uh, so you can also use a decrement operator here okay so let's uh, change this let's take another for loop here okay so for i is equal to zero so let's say for i is equal to 10 so i greater than or equal to zero okay so i greater than zero or i greater than equal to zero or let's say i greater than zero uh, so i minus minus here okay so now if you observe uh, so each time what happens is it, it keeps on uh, decrementing the value here okay so again let's have a message so see out some stupid silly message whatever you want it uh, so you want uh, you can have another loop I am in second for loop okay so I am in second for loop here okay so I had another message here so what happens if you observe here is if I run the program it keeps on uh, adding 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so what happened here is uh, it just executed our uh, loop 10 times and it just printed the value here okay so if you want you can uh, reduce the size of double slashes here okay slash and slash t if you run the program okay so again the second for loop uh, the output of second for loop again it gets executed for the 10 times here okay so what happens uh, so what happens here is uh, so also you can uh, have the value of uh, 10 get printed here okay so so what we do is uh, so let's uh, print the value of i also okay so as we have did in the previous example so if you say something like this i okay so now what happens uh, if you run the program so you get uh, the 10 9 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 here okay so again the i'm just printing the value of i okay so initially the the this loop also works in the same way uh, the only difference is uh, from the previous loop okay so is that here we have taken initialize the value of i to zero and we have used the increment operator so in the second for loop uh, we have just changed the syntax in such a way that we have taken the value of i to 10 and then we keep on decrementing here okay so if you take a higher value uh, you need to keep on uh, uh, decrementing so we need to keep on uh, decrementing the value here okay so funny initially the value of uh, i is 10 the 10 is always greater than 0 and it gets decremented to 9 and automatically since the condition is satisfied here it enters the loop and executes the following statement here okay so for the next instance the value of i is 9 and again it uh, checks with uh, again it checks with the value of uh, the conditional statement which is uh, 9 greater than 0 it keeps on uh, until 1 is greater than 0 okay so the, for the next instance after executing uh, 10 consecutive times okay so 10 consecutive times from 1 to 10 so the value of uh, i gets 0 at one instance okay so if you want you can uh, check it out with uh, printing out printing it out here okay so let's uh, make some room so the output fits in a single window here 
So if you come out of the loop and if you have a small print, tiny print of statement here, let's not use the double slash and see, okay? Uh, let's close it. I and I go out from second loop, okay? Some stupid message out from second loop, out from second for loop, okay? So run your program. So zero, okay. So the value of i is zero. If you observe in the very bottom here, uh, the value of i is zero. Uh, so that that's so when the value of i is zero, uh, that which means that after executing uh, the loop for ten consecutive times, uh, let me come out of the loop once. So after executing the uh, loop for ten consecutive times, that one uh, at one instance the value of uh, the value of i gets zero. Okay, so value of i gets zero. So at that instance, after the that is after the eleventh iteration, at the time of the eleventh iteration, the zero is never greater than uh, zero. The condition false, and it uh, it never executes. Uh, then it never executes or uh, fails uh, and to enter into the loop and comes out of the loop automatically, and just prints out this zero statement here. Okay, so in this way. Uh, uh, the for loop syntax works here. Okay, so let me write a couple of comments at the beginning. For loop demo. Okay, so here we have taken. Uh, so let let us revise once again all the what we have studied until now. We have taken uh, the for loop syntax here. Okay, using the for keyword, the very first beginning, uh, the first statement is which be the the initialization condition followed by increment or uh, followed by increment or decrement here. Okay, so we have just if you want to keep things uh, repeatedly executing. Uh, uh, repeatedly executing for uh, this many for a particular number of times you need to use a looping construct here okay so for that reason you have used the for loop syntax here so for the first for loop we have taken initialize the value with the uh, lowest possible value which is zero and then we have incremented that until uh, 10 times in the second for loop we have taken a higher value higher grade value and then we have uh, keep on decrementing the value okay so you can use either of the uh, syntax or either of either uh, kind of way uh, uh, to execute uh, or to run your for loop here, okay? So this is the basic stuff. So how the for loop uh, works here, okay? So let me run for the one last time. So it's always annoying to go to full screen. Okay, so here is the output. So this is the basic stuff. So how to uh, get acquainted with the syntax of for loop, okay? So see you in the see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.